Hey guys, Doc. It's um, a rainy day. It's actually drizzling right now, and I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys um, one the probably the only thing you'll ever have to replace on a McLean reel mower is the drive belt, <laughs> and this is the old one. That's the old one, and this is the new one. And what ends up happening is because they're constantly spinning, sometimes they'll actually wear down. So the depth. The actual depth of the belt wears down a little bit. Might stretch a little bit. You don't get too much stretch, um, but they just they just get worn a little bit. And that tiny bit of wearing on there, when you go to engage it, sometimes it just doesn't want to really go. Putting a new belt on there will make it go. So let me show you how real quick. After a couple years, what you'll probably find that you will need to replace the belt on your McLean reel mower. Ryan tried to cut the front yard with this the other day and he said, it's not moving, I'm having to push it. And I said, well, it's probably the belt. I mean, this is, I think this is one of my oldest units, years old. I don't know how many hundreds of hours it's got on it, but um, the belts will stretch a little bit and they wear down a little bit and they get a little bit brittle and slippery. The belts, I think, uh, gosh, I'll put a link to the belt. It's probably like nine bucks or something. But I always forget how to do it, to be honest. It's kind of weird. You just got to kind of figure out how to just wiggle it off a certain way. So I'm going to take this off. This, this arm is blocking it. So you could just take this arm off and I may end up doing that. There's a, there's a cotter pin right here. I may end up taking that off, but sometimes, there you go, you can just get it off like that. So you're going to take off that little cover. Then you're just going to see, you just got to kind of work this off. And then you just got to work this belt off, but you got to kind of remember how it comes off. <laughs> That's my hard part. What's keeping me from getting this out is this spring right here. So you have to detach that spring. It just pops off and then you'll have enough room to work this out. Now it goes in between this red thing here and this. So without further ado, I'm going to put it right back where it was. Get back in here, just like that. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna reattach. <clears throat> Let me grab the camera and show you. So to make enough room, you have to detach this little spring, which attaches right onto this little pin right here. It's just a loop. Then you'll have enough room to actually get this out. So then you just put it back in like that and then we're gonna reattach that spring. To get this little spring back onto this pin, you're gonna to have to have a pair of needle nose pliers and you grab the spring and you pull it and put it back on this pin right here. Got it? And it'll, it'll pop right back on. That gives you your handle tension. And then all we're gonna do is just we're gonna rework this around this thing here. Okay, so oh, when you're putting your belt back on, you just gotta remember that this bar right here, this release bar goes outside of your, goes outside of this. So this slides back on to there. This slides back on and you just put it all back on. Easier said than done, right? So, this one goes on there. This one pops on here, and the belt is outside of it, just like that. Got it? So, this little so this little bar right here is outside the belt. Just like that. 
Okay, so one other thing that's a real pain in the butt is getting this bolt back in. But if you pull that rod and line it up, you'll get it back in without having to take that cotter pin out. You'll eventually get it, but <laughs> it is a pain in the butt. And that just sort of just gently rides on top. And then you just tighten that up. That just keeps your belt that just keeps your belt from flailing around so that should work oh man that really worked <laughs> the mower actually goes like this now it actually wants to go and that's on wet grass it usually Usually with this one, you put it and it just sort of, it's been going blah. This one's just like, let's go. Now you will notice sometimes after you put that on at first, um, even though you're, even though this is disengaged, you still may see your blades turn a little bit and your wheels turn a bit. After a few minutes, that'll stop, but be careful because they don't fully disengage because you got a real tight belt on there. If you have to make an adjustment, you can actually, unpin this right here and make an adjustment here so that it actually goes it actually releases more but usually i've found that after a couple minutes of cutting it's fine so man that really worked i basically have a brand new mower so all i have to do on this one is uh, i'm gonna back lap it she'll be ready to go mm -hmm.